Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix, and I fixed my microphone. So there you have it. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We are pulling from the yin and yang deck to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor to like, share, subscribe. I cannot stress enough. On how to do that hold on one second sorry about that that was my son so yeah we're gonna go ahead and pull from the yin and yang deck there's ego there's vanity and pride somebody has been dealing with heavy ego in their system and we have to be able to understand what is it trying to teach us what unwinnable situation that we've been through or that we're going through when it comes to transformation that we need to have an ending to bring new beginnings and so that's where the vanity and pride comes out at because somebody should be looking at things in a different perspective and it could be in regards to love it could be in regards to activating your higher self but it's for your stability for your sake and it's not about going with the flow when it comes to certain situations so you have to know why this shows up at the end of the day is it because you love yourself too much or is it because just because one person won't give you the amount of love that you require doesn't mean that you won't be able to give it to yourself. And so that's when you actually stop looking at what somebody else is doing and start activating your higher self and going within and understanding that those energies, the ego, look, the card came over. Yeah, the guarded energies and things like that being closed <laughs> off and actually going um, for your wish fulfillment has a lot more to do with your um, energy of the past and it says rejection lost and fragmented so when you start to move forward and understand that no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson and that is of transformation and that is even though you can be attracted and you can love someone who is guarded and closed off that doesn't mean you can't stop going after your dreams and sometimes we lose our focus and we do that runner chaser type energy and it says, um, yeah, um, bottom of the deck is Eros love. Eros is sexual, passionate and romantic uh, and a romantic kind of love that can become an infatuation filled with lust and dangerous due to um, lust and dangerous due to the loss of control. So this is when we start to lose control over certain situations or someone starts to lose control because we're not giving them the same energy that they gave us in the past. And that's when they become at this point to where they start to look at things in a different perspective and they start looking at you like, OK, why is cancer not available to me? Why do I have to look through a um, peephole in order to find cancer? But it says it uh, and that's a part of their ego, because instead of them come in explaining to you why they are closed off they would rather play these games and you're going after your dreams you're not worried about them rejecting you anymore you're not worried about the arrows love that can be dangerous it can be you know hot and steamy it could be all of those things but it says availability there is so much uh support in this relationship everything ranging from emotional support to basic needs and they're realizing that so they realize that you were available to them until you were not until you became what they were it's closed off and it says secret detective if one of you is snooping you need to ask yourself why do you why don't you trust them or vice versa this is the, the excuse me if the trust is gone how can you cultivate a healthy relationship and that's the reason why you realize that at the end of the day it's nothing that you can do the running and chasing it says you and your twin flame may switch back and forth between two roles often um, often out of fear of experiencing true intimacy so this is what it is right now you're on that other end of um, avoiding and closed off and they're on the energy of trying to chase you but their ego is still they still have a lot of healing to do basically to a wands energy it says um, charting your course and it says opportunity visualiz vis visualization um, discovery get ready future planning, consider consider options and decisions. So somebody has to make a decision and some you're deciding to make that decision of growth. The Knight of Swords energy is be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination, as well as the Eight of Wands being in the re 
Is that the reverse? Yeah. Gaining momentum. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. No, that's in the upright. I can't really see because these are airplanes, and I don't know if they're up or right. But anyway, gaining momentum. It says swift progress, alignment, communication. Yeah, this is in the upright. So somebody is ready to communicate, and they're coming after you they're ready to talk they want to uh look at things in a different perspective and you know the thing is is that you know they're very impatient now with where they are they're trying to seize the day seize the moment and get the time back that you guys were in separation because at some point when that ego goes uh into a dormant state then they'll realize that they cannot find you and anybody else moon energy and they have to face their fears this is the moon in reverse meaning mental clarity it says releasing fears and anxiety hearing and trusting intuition and, and then it says unveiled so they have to face their fears and actually do the things that you did you had to have a dark night of the soul four swords and ace of coins energy you had to have the courage to be able to go after the things that weren't uh, motivated i mean that get away from the things that weren't motivating you and that was you pulling your energy back going into hermit mode and it's like isolation going within silence rest taking a break healing and recalibrating so you had to recalibrate in order to come out in a different light but at this point it says um a risky endeavor you have been on risky endeavors for a while now and you're just tired of that and so you had to pull your energy back and realize everything that you know, you've been dealing with greed, somebody, you being cautious about things, looking at things from a different perspective, trying to re revise certain situations and dealing with unstable situations and people. And so the five of wands energy is the five of wands in the upright is personality clashes. And it, this is conflict that you had to go through when it comes to the five of wands. You had to go through conflict. There was misunderstanding. There was a loss in opportunities. There were all types of things, chaos and arguments. And that is where you had to get out of this arrows love type energy because it was more friction than anything else. And that caused you, you know, the rejection and the loss and also feeling fragmented or feeling pulled apart like the puzzles weren't meshing. Um, you had to make a decision to chart a different course. And that is where now your availability is different. Somebody is looking at you from a distance and that same person who was looking at you from a distance was that person who was guarded um, in the beginning. And so now you have to be able to be the one to make a decision on what it is that you need to do for yourself. I'll go ahead and pull a couple of energies for this person to see where they are. But again, you had to be the one to make a decision. But now, you know, you have to know that it's time for you to uh, decide if you want to communicate with this person. And I think this is probably your energy that's coming out. Yep, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, you made a decision you know, when it came to the the past energy. So the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the um, uh, Six of Cups energy, you made the decisions to, be, to have to uh, move forward and focus on your finances, will of fortune. That's the comp completion. You know, this energy feels like it's someone else's energy, but when it comes to having mental clarity, they had to have the mis mental clarity that, you know, the risky endeavor is them having the courage to be able to go after you, which is somebody that you love, right? Or they love. And so you have to be the one to decide if that's what you're really trying to do. And, um, yeah, go from there. So, again, I'll go ahead and pull from the emotional, the true emotional deck to see what comes out. And then I will um, pull from the four agreements. Under pressure, yeah. So this person is under pressure. They feel like time is running out when it comes to this love-hate relationship that they have for you. And they they have anxiety. Um, they have to make a decision, again, making decisions. And they feel like time is running out. So they're under pressure in regards to trying to see what it is that you want to do out of this situation. And so I'll pull from the, what's the T deck to see what else comes out. Let's see. Yeah, mar marrying for money and ain't shit. So this person, this same under pressure person, the ego, you know, the big headedness, you know, um, yeah, they received, they either gave a dirty offer, meaning that, Excuse me, I don't even do that. But meaning that they they were always into what what money could do or what money could buy, and now you know they they were marrying for money or they would do anything for money. But that ancient mentality 
is now has them under pressure because they realize that none of that lasts. So that's what they have to deal with. And you have to decide if that's what you want to put back into your life. So I'm pulling for the four agreements and also the crystal deck. Um, if you want to know how I, my perspective on the four agreements, you can, um, you can click the links up above. So this is don't take anything personally, personally, and the Unikite uh, crystal. Um, it says love and respect yourself at the end of the day. That's all you can do. You are never responsible for the actions of others, but you are responsible for you. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it's a gift. If they walk away from you, you may hurt for a while, but your heart will eventually heal. And so that is where you are right now. You know, no matter how much love you have for this person, you know that that ego and the ancient personality and everything else is better uh, than what you have for them. Everybody else and everything else they have on the outside of you is better for them until they realize that it's not. And so the unikite is the heart and the third, uh, the third eye chakra, spiritual insight, balance, and release. It says, I am here to flourish. I am here to flourish. And that is where you are. You're flourishing and they are under pressure. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.